Hey friends, real quick tip on how to find the angle of your rafter if you have to find the angle on an unknown pitch. All right friends, so this square is your best friend when finding the angle or the pitch of an unknown rafter or eave or whatever. So here we have our regular square or speed square. This is the pivot point. You can see where it says pivot. Right there, there it says pivot. Got an arrow for you even. So this is our pivot point. I'm going to put this pivot point right on the point that is known. So I know this is plumb. This edge right here is plumb. So I can put that pivot on here. Then I'm lining this up with the pitch. And now I'm following this plumb line here to these numbers right here. These numbers right here. Not these, but these numbers right here. This is for your common rafter. So pivot at the point, line this up. Then I'm coming up here and I'm looking and it looks like I'm between, well it looks like I'm right uh, one past the 12. So that would mean I'm a 13, 12 pitch, okay? So that means my angle is around a 47 degree angle. So it'd be right in here. So I'd be at 40, 47 on a 13. So that's how you can calculate what this angle is and cut either a rafter just like this or what I'm doing, I'm cutting coil stock to match up with this angle so I can put it on here. Okay folks, now how do we use this to get our angle? We're gonna go ahead and line this here. We're going to pivot here until that line lines up with our 47 degree angle. And then this is what we are going to cut. So we'll get our, oops, 47 right there. I wanna make sure I'm at the corner. Sometimes it's kinda of hard with only two hands. It's nice to have seven, but not possible. So there we go, this is our angle. This is our 47 degree angle that we are going to cut. So there you go folks, real quick tip on how to find the angles of a rafter if it's unknown with just your trusty old speed square. Make sure to work hard folks because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching.